What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Walkthrough, the green screen edition and all that crud. Yes. The weekly edition, I guess I should say. Anywho guys, um, I just want to say a huge thank you to every single one of you guys out there who are supporting my channel. Uh, for, you know, all the good comments, maybe the bad comments, I don't even know. But thank you guys for supporting the, the first episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Yes, I get it. It seems redundant that I keep on coming back with these walkthroughs all over again and all that stuff in a new way. But, you know, I kind of figured that since you guys have been so patient, very, very reliant to me and all that stuff, I might as well give back to you guys with the little green screen and see how that works. Now, for those who are new, the reason we're doing a once a week episode for Brilliant Diamond on the green screen is because, trust me on this one, guys, it takes a lot of effort a lot of work just to make all of these things uh, stick together from the green screen to the backdrop to this footage match up the, the voice and everything try not to make myself look like a butterface and all that stuff because let's just face it guys got a butterface right now especially with the acne and all that crud anywho in our last episode uh, we did a lot of stuff and yes you're gonna be seeing me fiddle around with my microphone just a little bit right here um yeah, we started up our episode, or our adventure right here in the Sinnoh region by just doing everything, guys. Another thing about this whole walkthrough is that we're going to be going through, I mean, we're going to be stacking up the minutes, getting this thing to go, because, yeah, you guys want to see more, I'm going to give you more. The only problem is it's going to be a lot of work, so this is the reason why there's, you know, once a week episode and all that stuff. So, let's continue on. In our last episode, we managed to get ourselves three new Pokemon, including our starter Pokemon, Monfernomon. We changed up the name. It's not Infernomon no more. It's Monfernomon. And then we got Electro Star back, Starblade, and Hydra. Yes. I'm going, I'm pretty much going with the same team back in the, in the other walkthrough. There's just going to be a little hint of, you know, other Pokemon coming in and out just because, well, shoot, you know, uh, uh, this game is difficult, like, you know, especially with when it comes to, like, the Elite Four. So I'm not trying to get beat by the Elite Four or anything like that. I want to finish this in one fell swoop. That way you guys can see that, you know, good old Draven can somewhat knock it out of the park. I don't know. Anywho, let's continue on right here, guys. So let's see. One of two things. We can go in here. Forgot to... I forgot about all of that right there. And that is that we can go and find something. And of course, let's see. Let's go ahead and... Why is this Pokemon in the way? Jesus criminy. Okay. So if we talk to this person and she will be giving us a Quick Claw, which, you know, it'll help our slower Pokemon and all that crud. And I think if you talk to this lady right here... And she's like, Trina would simply be lost without a Poketech after all. Yeah, that's another thing too that we actually uh, obtained in the last episode, and that is that we got ourselves a Poketech. And if you talk to this guy, did you buy some heal balls at the Pokemart? A heal ball completely heals the Pokemon in it, and it catches it on the spot. That means that you can catch a Pokemon and have it battle ready right away. I wonder what kind of healing space it is inside the heal ball. Hmm. That is a good question. Probably some juju. And then. Here we have this guy. He's like, I like making my Pokemon use their attacks. Sometimes when a Pokemon gets stronger, they learn new moves. Those new moves keep up fresh and fun for a distraction for me. That's pretty good right there, too. So <clears throat> it kind of feels like we have to use every single move now because I think this is like Nintendo's cruel way of saying that, like, hey, make sure to use every single move. And uh, I guess I guess we're going to be using every single move right here. Why is the load screen so... Oh my god. Anywho. Let's get the heck out of here. We're going to be going into Route 203. And unfortunately... We get to meet up with this... This... This guy right here. Hey, Draven. Tell me uh, you got a little tougher. Me? Do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on. Let's battle it out. You can tell the expression on my face that I do not like this guy, this Ace Ventura waste of a space right here. So here we go, taking on Barry, coming out with his Starly because he likes to copy me. And of course, we're going with Monfernomon. Let's go. We're at level 10. Let's go with the stab attack. Seriously, quick attack. Cheap, very, very cheap. There we go. And Starly just gets burned. And he's like, don't get cocky, kid. This isn't over yet. 
Okay, so who are you calling a, a kid? I don't know. But this guy's going with quick attacks. <laughs> Again, still have the cough right there. And bam! Starly has been defeated. Okay, and there's some more experience points right there. And who is next? Piplup. Let's go ahead and switch it out to Electrostar. Alrighty. I love my Pokemon, but you know what? We gotta, you know, we gotta be even with the kind of Pokemon moves that we use. So Electrostar is here, and here comes Piplup. And uh, well, let's go right ahead and use that Thundershock attack just to, you know, just to make a. Uh... Oh wow. Okay, so that was super effective. And that right there is not cool. So, let's go ahead and use a charge attack right here. Now, uh, yeah, 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 Electrostar's effect. Yeah, Electrostar's effect kind of kind of screws it over right here because we're taking on a male Piplup. And, well, let's go right ahead and go straight for a Thundershock attack. See if that actually works out. And that takes a lot more than, you know, usual. Had it been a female, then it would have never been that way. But this guy's like, my Pokemon's HP low. This could be a bit tight. You think? You freaking think? Oh my god. I really hate this guy. And just like that, Piplup has been defeated. Throwing at the peace sign. Barry. That's right. And look at this. All th well, three Pokemon start growing levels right there. Starblade, Electrostar, and Hydra. Yeah. Alrighty. So... Trainer Barry, he's defeated. He's like, what just happened? I lost? Yes, you did. You lost big time for me. Okay. So he's like, what? What do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. The first thing to do is to take on the Orberg City Gym. I'm going to toughen up for my Pokemon that it totally. Okay. Whatever you say, homeboy. Anywho. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back. I just needed to cough yet again because, well, you know, we're facing uh, not a pandemic or anything like that. Not again, hopefully. Um, yeah, I've just been having a, a small cough. Well, not too small. And, well, let's go right ahead and start battling some people right here. And he's like, I'm full of energy because I, got, I get power from my Pokemon. Whatever you say, homeboy. Anywho, we're going to be taking on Youngster Michael. And, well... He's going to come out with a Bidoof. Anywho, guys, uh, some of you guys, like I said, you guys have been very supportive of this walkthrough. I get it. About a year and a half ago, probably? Yeah, it's been a year and a half since I've actually played this game. Um, I may have mentioned it, like, so many times onto, uh, like, other walkthroughs that, yes, this isn't one of my favorite walkthroughs to do because, well, shoot. It's the Sinnoh region, and, uh, yeah, you guys already know. Sinnoh region is not my cup of tea right here, especially with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and, uh, and Shining Pearl. They, they just uh, they just didn't do a good job with it. I'm sorry. And the reason I'm playing with it because it's because, you know, I haven't completed it yet. And some of you guys are like, well, that says a lot for, you know, the other walkthrough you didn't complete yet. I'm getting there, okay? Leave me alone. So, yeah. Now, once a, like once a week episodes, I can manage... Mainly because the episodes are going to be around 30 minutes or more. And uh, it actually helps me. It actually helps me with the timing of the editing, guys. Because it, it takes a lot of stuff into here. Like the camera that I'm using, the screen that I'm looking at, the microphone that I'm speaking in both. Um, the timing of the voice recording and then the lights and everything. It, it takes a lot, guys. It really does. And this guy is kicking my butt right here. Holy crud. I like to talk a lot, yes. By the way, I, I see it on my comment section down below. I talk a lot. Uh, to that commenter, suck it. And there we go. We just got ourselves, yes, more levels right here. And Starblade grows to level 9 and learns Wing Attack, which is great because, yeah, we're going to be needing that. Anywho, let us continue on right here. And grab ourselves a Pokeball. That right there is a nice pick or whatever. And what if we talk to this girl right here? Did you know the first Pokemon to appear at, uh, in a battle is the one on to top of your list? Yeah, I kind of knew that. All right, so let's see. What does this say? Trainer tips. Pokemon moves use energy called power points, or PP for short. Uh, to replenish PP, go to the Pokemon Center. 
Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's give some uh, love to everybody right here. Uh, going back to Monferno Mon because, yes, it's the straight butt kicker and all that crud. And here we have another youngster. We're always together. I'll show you how we bonded. Bring it on. Anywho, here we are taking on Youngster Dallas. I hope he's like the Cowboys because uh, they're going to, you know, they're going to poop the bed right here. Yeah. Many of you guys already know. I laugh at the Cowboys. Anywho, here we go. Take it on Cricket Tots. Time to take it with, a, you know, a nice Ember attack right here. Look at this. Ember attack for the win. That's how you do it, guys. That is how you do it. And bam, Monfernomon grows to level 11. And just like the Dallas Cowboys, they lose miserably. And everybody laughs about it. Okay. So let's go right ahead and move on right here. Yes, we, we got a lot of trainers. Now, the plan for this episode, it says right there on the title, we're going to Orberg. We're going to find the, the, the gym leader. And we're going to win the gym badge. All in one episode because, again, you guys want to see a full episode? We're going to get full episodes right here. Just can't wait for the editing part. Trust me on that one. Anywho, let's go ahead and continue on our little onslaught here against the Lord and Savior of all of Sinnoh. That is Bidoof. And, wow. That was easy. Very, very easy. And look at this. We're getting some more points. And we're going to be switching up our Pokemon. Let's go straight to Starblade. Now that it learned its uh, wing attack. And, well, Starblade, how's it going? We're doing well. We are doing fantastic. Here we go. Starblade versus Starblade. Wing attack. Not going to be super effective right here. And bam. That's how you do it. Very easy stuff. And look at this. Electro Star grows to level 10. Hydra is going to be a, a bit difficult to actually train. So if you guys catch my Pokemon, like jump a few levels and all that stuff, it's probably because I traded them to Pokemon, uh, my Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, or no, Shiny Pearl. Did a little training there and then brought them back because, yeah, I don't want to, like, I don't want to waste my time here doing this like I did in Alpha Sapphire. And there you go. She is not happy. She is not happy at all. Okay, so who's next? We got some Pokemon that we can look at, and I wonder what kind of Pokemon we're going to find right here. And would you look at this, we have found ourselves in Abra. Abra, as many of you guys already know, it's a pretty interesting Pokemon. We can capture it. Actually, I will capture it. Hopefully try and capture it. It can be useful going into later on battles and all that stuff. And yeah, this Pokemon is not going to let me capture it. So there it is. It's going to teleport. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay, so we're back, guys. Now, if you, if you guys see some time skips right here onto this game, I do this on purpose because the camera that I have depending on the settings that I have it right here for the quality it you it can only it can only record a certain amount of time and I think the quality I have it on right here is 20 minutes and we were yeah we were getting close so yeah I do apologize for that it's gonna happen from time to time trust me on this games like these or walkthroughs like these guys I'm gonna be doing a lot of editing it's a lot of work guys and oh wow okay so why oh wow okay so I was not paying attention, my bad, my bad. Oh, what the hell? Okay, so, again, I'm using a different controller right here. And, well, let's go straight forward, Ember Attack. Finish it. And, uh, well, it's not gonna be finished, but here comes a low kick. Yeah, deliberately took off the taunt. Trying to be, uh, trying to be very strategic, Magic, and, well, look at this. We win. How's it feel to fail, Machop? Yeah. And bam, level seven. That is also a great, well, a great accomplishment right there. Again, gonna try and get Hydra up to level twenty as quickly as possible. And well, let's see. We are at Route Two Hundred Three. There is an item close by, and we still need to battle some trainers right here. So, let's go. Do 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 do. Here comes Madeline with a Starly and Monfernomon is ready to go. Take some names, beat the living you know what out of these Pokemon. So here we go, Ember attack and well, yeah, quick attack. 
You gotta love the quick attack right here. So here we go. Amber attack. And Starly nearly, well, nearly faints. This is ridiculous. Let's go. Starly has fainted. Throwing out the peace sign right there. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and uh, well, there we go. Starblade grows to level 10. And here comes Beedoof. Let's go with Starblade. Now, some of you guys are questioning. Some of you guys are questioning, like, hey, Draven, how come you don't have a backdrop like you do in, in, in Pokemon Prism? How come it's you right here close to the 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 uh, the actual attacks and all that stuff? Working smarter, not harder. Plus, uh, I didn't want to I didn't want to mess up the quality of you know the gameplay right here, so I might as well just sacrifice one thing for another. And you guys have the you know have me as the green screen and all that stuff. And well, look at that. We win yet again. We win. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go through the grass and see what we can find. And well, we're gonna be finding ourselves another Shinx. This Pokemon right here is looking like a mean Pokemon, which I am not gonna try and capture. And here is an Intimidate. Okay, so this Shinx could work. But I'm going to have to run away because we already got a Shinx. Maybe next time. Maybe. Okay, so there is a Pokeball right here. And there it is, guys. We found ourselves a Repel. The first of many. Um, funny story about Repels. Back when I was a kid. Yeah, didn't, uh, didn't necessarily appreciate them until, like, later on. As a kid, I didn't care if... Well, actually, I, I, I'll take that back. As a kid... I didn't know what the repels were for. I didn't really read the instructions. I was just gung-ho, ready to just go. And, uh, you know, as an adult, yes, we, we, we obviously, uh, we obviously appreciate repels a lot more. So let's go ahead and heal up our Mon Mon Monforno Monfernomon. Can't pronounce that right. Electro Star right here. You know, with the money that we're winning, yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna be dev, like, we're gonna be buying a lot more potions right here so here we go another restore and a look at that star blade yes okay so we're gonna be going into a cave right here and this one is the orberg gate now if you go right here this individual will spot you he's gonna be like oh look at here you got a pokétech hmm you're still a pretty new trainer aren't you yes yes i am but it's all good, you're a, a new fellowed friend of Pokemon. So let me give you this gift of the technical machines of, to you. And we get ourselves the TM-98, which I believe is Rock Smash. And yes, it is Rock Smash. FYI, if you use a technical machine to teach your Pokemon a move, then it will break. Again, a reminder in this game right here. Oh wow, we got a Hidden Moves app as well. So, use the Rock Smash on your Pokédex. The wild Pokémon will get rid of the boulders in your path. But to use this hidden move uh, in on the field, you'll first need the gym at Orberg City. I'm looking forward to seeing your growth. And as you guys can see, we got a new option into the Pokétech. This is similar to Pokémon Moon, Sun and Moon, where it's service Pokémon, except this one, you got it in your Pokédex, and some wild Pokémon would just break it in or whatever. I don't even know. So, let's see what we got right here on Dragon Ball Z. Um, so, like I said in the last episode last week, uh, the TMs here in Generation, I would have to say, eight, nine, seven? In this generation right here, you get three from specific people. They're no longer unlimited, and I think you can buy TM-98s as many as, many as you can, but right now I'm not going to be using any because there's really... There's really not a lot of things to actually cover right here. Uh, what I'm going to do is... You know what? There, there are probably some Pokemon trainers with some rock types here. So I'm just going to go with Monfernomon. And I didn't read that. Okay. Let's go. And here we are taking on Camper T uh, Curtis. And he's going to be coming out with a Shinx. Oh, look at that. A Shinx. Pretty cool. Here we go, Monfernomon. Time to do it, but to do it, and yes, Intimidate is going to mess us up right here, and 
I don't know why I did scratch. Probably because I'm like really, you know, trigger happy and all that stuff. And here comes a thunder shock. That is gonna mess me up just a little bit. So let's return to favor with Ember Attack. Yeah, buddy. That's how you feel. That's how I feel. And bam. There we go. And who is? Oh, look at this. He's he's like I'm in, hmm, insufficient in race. Yes. Insufficiently raised. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, battle the last trainer right here. And to celebrate my uh, getting through this cave, I'm going to battle you. I'm going to mess you up. I will mess you up. So here we are taking on Picnicker Deanna, or Diana, however you like to call it. And here she's coming out with a Badoo. Now, unfortunately, it's nighttime. Can't capture a Badoo just yet. Kind of want to. And we're going to be going with an Ember attack right here. Look at this. Badoo. Defeated. That's how you do it, guys. That is how you do it. And Monfernomon grows to level 12 and is learning Power Up Punch. This is going to be a spectacular punch because, as you guys can see right here, it's only 40 power and all that crud. But striking opponents over and over makes the user's fists harder, hitting... A target raises its, uh, its, its attack. So I'm going to take away Scratch Attack because we kind of do need Leer for this. And bam, ta-da. Yes, Power Up Punch has been learned. Monferno Mon. I am going to have to switch you out, homeboy, because, well, yeah. I kind of... Yeah, I kind of need to uh, yeah, battle this person right here. So let's go straight for a Shinx. And here comes a Phaseiduk. And I was thinking of actually capturing a Psyduck some, at some point just to cover me for, you know, this gym right here. I might still do that. But, in the meantime, look at this. Psyduck defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And, well, Diana has been defeated. Well, I guess I, uh, losing it to something is commemorating to, I guess. I don't know. Okay. So let's go ahead and walk out of here. And once you step out of the Orber Cave or the connecting path, why does it take so long to load? Why? Here we are in Orber City. Walking out, you're going to be talking to this guy. He's going to be like, Howdy, trainer! If you don't have a single gym badge, other trainers will look down on you like you're a total noob, right? So I'll show you where the town's Pokemon gym is. He said noob. He almost called me a noob, okay? So we're walking, we're walking, yes. And uh, he's like, huh, there's someone there. Oh, it's this guy. <sighs> Swear to God, I want to smack him. Huh? Oh, it's you, Draven. You finally got here. You're slow like always. You're so slow that Pokemon Gym Leader uh, long now, or long gone now. He said he had to go to, uh, oh yeah, Orberg Mine. Uh, I got my badge already, so it's no big deal to me, but... But what? I, I don't get this kid. Anywho, what we're going to be doing right now, guys, is I'm going to be going straight to the Pokemon Center. Going to heal up my Pokemon. And then uh, we'll be right back, right here, after these brief messages. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back, and uh, we're healed up and ready to go. So as you guys already remembered, yes, uh, the Orberg City Gym Leader is not around. So what we're going to do first is we're going to be taking a tour of this whole place right here. It's not much. Uh, I do believe we're going to find an item here and there. And if you talk to this guy, this big old roughy guy, Wark is our town's gym leader. He may be young, but he keeps the mind sa running safely and efficiently. Not bad. And if we talk to this young lady, Rourke is a type or is a rock type user. Don't you think rock type Pokemon are nice? I like how lumpy they are. Yeah, they are very lumpy. They are very awesome. But uh, yeah, not my cup of tea. I think you guys already know that. Like, I don't really use a lot of rock type Pokemon except for what was his name? Uh, Rockmon or Geomon or I can't remember the name of the Pokemon that I captured. Uh, let's see. Listen, uh, do you have a, happen to have a Pokemon named Machop? Would you be willing to trade your Machop for my Abra? Now, that is a good trade right there, but I like to have my own Abra. I don't know why. And a Pokemon obtained to trade grows quickly, but if you if a Pokemon grows too much, it will often ignore the trainer. Of course, that won't matter if you have a lot of Pokemon gym badges. Now, the thing here, guys, is that I am planning on trading some Pokemon to this game. 
That way it becomes a little quicker for me to, uh, well, to get through this whole thing. Um, Pokemon that I have in mind? Probably Ralts. Ayla Kid. Hmm. Maybe, uh, what was his name? Um, Toothless. Yes, that's another Pokemon. And definitely Toothless. Um, Toothless because you won't be able to get him until, like, way later on, and we kind of need him. Uh, let's see, let's see, if you don't mind, how about showing me a Pokemon called Zubat? Yeah, I would love to show you a Pokemon named Zubat, but I don't have one. And how my Pokemon are, are alike, it's not anything I explain. I can explain easily, okay. These people are useless. Totally useless. So we're going to be going into, I guess, the other house right here. I kind of feel like there's, like, a hidden item here somewhere. Probably, I don't know. We could find something right now. And, well, let's see, what if we go in here... Again, still trying to get used to the whole uh, controller right here. And uh, let's see. We go here, talk to this lady. She looks like she's giving birth or something. Rourke lets us train our Pokemon in the mine. That is cool. Fantastic. Great. But where is the hidden item? And the gym leader isn't just like any other trainer you meet. I'd take as many Pokemon as possible if I were, if I were you. Yeah, these people challenging me, and it's just ridiculous. There are eight gym leaders, or there, yeah, eight gym leaders in the Sinnoh region. The objective for the Pokemon trainers is to get through the gym badges and, uh, from all of them. Okay, so that's cool. Fantastic. Great. I am throwing up the thumbs up for that. Where is my free item? Talk to this lady. Are you catching Pokemon? Here, take this if you'd like. And back. We get ourselves a dust ball. Only a dust ball? Now, off screen, I did buy, uh, or I did buy myself quite a few uh, Pokeballs. Uh, chances are, it might be, you know, capturing some Pokemon, recapturing some Pokemon, and all that stuff. Maybe I don't know. So let's go straight to the mine right here. Before you do anything, guys, take a look around. As you guys can see, there's a lot of machinery around here, and uh, through this machinery, I believe you could actually find a hidden item right here somewhere too. If you can talk to this guy. Pile of dirty, uh, this pile of dirty sand is called a slag heap. It's the waste from the sorting coil, or coal. And, uh, there we go. We found ourselves some stardust, which we could sell for a high price. And if you can only move, please move. Thank you. And I don't know why I'm using the, the D-pad right here. So let's go right ahead and go towards this area right here. And there is a... There is a house right there that we can actually go to. And if you talk to this guy, he's going to be like, You're taking a tour of our coal mine? Wonderful! That's excellent of you. It's always good to learn about new things and broaden your horizons. I think so. Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and move on right here. And uh, I think there's just one more thing you can do right here. If you talk to this guy, that's a Machop. Talk to this guy. There's no question that this is hard, hard work, but working alongside Pokemon, it gives me boost somehow. Here, take one of these. We get ourselves a super potion, which many of you guys already know. It actually works. Uh, let's see. There's nothing right here, I think. Yeah, there's really... Yeah, there really isn't anything around here. Uh, let's see. Not a lot of stuff. We will be going into the mine in just a little bit. There's just one thing that I really need to do, and it's going to take a little bit, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, we're back, and uh, there was just a few things that I kind of wanted to do. As many of you guys already know, I'm, I'm, I, I, I kind of have like an ADHD kind of thing with uh, Pokeballs. I like to capture Pokemon in different Pokeballs. Obviously, in the beginning, you only get one kind, but, you know, since we've updated and, you know, gone through the times, I managed to capture three or four new Pokemon with different Pokeballs. So we replaced the old ones with the new ones. As you guys can see, we got Hydra. We caught a level nine Hydra out of sheer luck. Then Starblade, Electrostar, and a good old buddy of ours, Ultra Psycho at level four. We are going to go through this whole thing yet again because, well, we kind of, yeah, we, 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 we kind of needed to do so. Now, uh, I didn't like, I didn't necessarily like the whole, uh, what was it called? Uh, the, the types of, uh, what was it called again? The natures of our Pokemon, as you can see. We got a naughty nature and for uh, Starblade right here. The ability is Keen Eye. The attack will be up. Electrostar, I had to get the Intimidate effect because, seriously, that whole uh, rival 
the whole rival uh, ability, it just, it sucked. It really sucked. And, well, it's going to work for a special attack. Unfortunately, our speed is going to go down because it's quiet. And our good old buddy, Ultra Psycho, is going to help us out for just the time being because, well, it's physical attack. And, yeah, it doesn't, it, this, this doesn't really worry me at all. As long as the special attack is okay, then that's fine by me. So, let's go right ahead and do this all over again. So, we're going to be going into the Orberg Mine. And as you guys can see, there's going to be some work. Lots and lots of work. There's going to be an item right here. We found ourselves in the X defense, which uh, can help us out a little bit later on, hopefully. And yes, we're going to get attacked by many Pokemon. And what I'm going to do right here is, yes, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to battle most of these Pokemon right here because we, we, we need to get back to the levels that we were, especially from Magikarp. And well, here we are taking on an Onyx. And let's go. Oh my god. That is what we're facing. And uh, oh my god. Here comes a smackdown. Oh my god. This Onyx just layeth the smack it down on you know my uh, my candy. You know what? Here we go again. Power up punch. Not so effective. And oh my god. And here comes a rock polish. So this right here, it could go one of two ways good or bad and you know what I'm gonna try and capture this Pokemon right here because when when will we be able to capture an onyx at all pokeball might not be the way to go but come on stay in there come on damn it okay okay this is uh yeah this is not gonna go our way right now um, maybe another uh, another pokeball will work because remember, an Onyx is just a, it's just a tank of a Pokemon to actually have. And I think in a, in a Shining Pearl, I do have the Metal Coat and stuff. And this guy is just a... Okay, so you could have just defeated me right there. And, but you choose to... Yeah, you choose to not attack me. You choose to boost up your... Or grease yourself up! Come on. Oh, come on! Yeah, that is... Okay, so... One more Pokeball, I guess. I mean, we can find a Great Ball around here somewhere. There's one. There's two. There's three. Yes! Mm! Peace sign! Mm! Trying to make that flinch. And this is going to be good for our Pokemon, because look at the levels that we just got. Okay. That was good. That was fantastic. Our Pokemon are relearning the moves that we're supposed to be getting. Electrostar, Learn, Thundershock, yes. Whew, Ultra Psycho as well. And, uh, well, here we have Onyx. The Rock Snake Pokemon, a rock and ground type Pokemon. 28 feet, 10 inches, 463 pounds. That is like, oh my god, that is a crock of a lie. When it travels underground, it causes a rumbling in tremors. It can move up to 50 miles per hour, and, well, we already got a nickname for this Pokemon. Everybody, say hello to Serpentera. It's been a while. Let's see, Sir. There we go. Pent. I wonder if it could fit. There we go. There. Ah. Say hello to Serpentera. Yeah, buddy. Okay. It's going to be in our party for just a little bit. Eventually, we're going to be switching out Pokemon and all that crud. And let's see. What does she have to say? They were Pokemon that just uh, that looked just like rocks. They surprised me. Huh. Everyone, everyone who works in the coal mine keeps their own Pokemon with them. You may be challenged by, uh, to battles. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, I don't care if I get challenged to battles. Let's just n hope that we don't get attacked by another Onyx ever again, because those things are scary, especially at the lower levels right here. And well, we're gonna get attacked by Pokemon. Now we do have a Repel, and we are gonna be finding a Geo Dude. I'm gonna keep on messing with my, with my mic right here now. Like if I go right here, you could hear it. I think it's it should be right here. Now, let's go with a power up punch. We gotta, we're gonna have to level up our Pokemon real quickly, and uh, yeah, this is gonna increase the physical attack right now. And here comes a defense curl from Geodude. Look at that, it's increasing its defense. Um, let's see, what else? What else? Another thing that you guys would probably notice is that like, I do have a different mic, and it's because it's connected to a. Uh, well, it's connected to a, a system right here that 
Well, it makes my, my vocals a little bit better. And uh, there is a sandstorm that he just kicked up. Screw it, we're gonna capture this Pokemon too because we need levels. And lots of them. And there's one. There's two. There's three. Yeah, buddy. Throwing out the peace sign. Okay! So, there we go. And, yes, our Pokemon are leveling up like crazy. Yeah, buddy. Ultra Psycho grows to level 7. Yes, this is all for the purposes of leveling up our Pokemon. And as you guys can see right here, we got Geodude, the rock Pokemon, rock and ground. Many live on the mountain trails and remain half buried while keeping an eye out on climbers. And I just remember the nickname of this Pokemon. So, everybody, say hello to our good old buddy, Terramon. Which, hopefully, we'll see some action from this Pokemon eventually at some point. I don't even know. There we go. Terramon, how's it going? Oh, wait. We, we can add it to our party. Yeah, definitely not going to add him to our party. We're just going to send him to the box and uh, be on our own merry way. Okay, so before we battle people... Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. We do have those TMs. And, uh, well, potion. You gotta love the potion. There we go. And we're not gonna use any potions on the Serpentera right here. Let's see what you're all about. I met these Machop at Route 207. They now become my most trusted partners. That is a hint. Go get yourself a Terramon or a Machop. So here we are battling against another worker and... His name is Mason. Here he is going to be coming out with a Machop. And I could have used Starblade for this one. Or Ultra Psycho. But I uh, guess we're going to be using Monfernomon for right now because, you know, he's the only powerful one. And, well, here comes a Leer attack. And we all know how powerful these guys are physically. So let's go right ahead and use another Ember attack. Let's go, Monfernomon. And that does the trick. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. And look at this. Our Pokemon are growing levels like crazy yet again. Monfernomon grows to level 13. Electrostar and Starblade both grow to level 8. Ultra Psycho should have grown to level 8. I, I, I'm just saying. And, well, that right there is another victory for us. So let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. And there it is. We found ourselves another potion. And... Well, we're going to be going straight right here, and look at this. We have found Rourke. I'm just clicking on him. Okay. Stand back and watch this. Using the hitting move, Rock Smash, get rid of uh, the boulder blocking your way. Oh. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the... <coughs> oh, wow. Wow, you see that? That's what happens, guys. If you could get the badge from the gym in the town, you'd be able to do this, too. Of course, you'd have to be the gym leader first, and that'd be me. Yeah, this guy, he, he, he's one cocky, you know what? And... Yeah, we're gonna get attacked again by another Pokemon. And that Pokemon happens to be a Zubat. I would love to capture it, but... um, Yeah, you know what? We're gonna try and capture it. We're going to try and capture the whole staff right here, and here we go. <coughs> Ember attack. That is that takes half this stuff, and, well, we, avo we avoid all that uh, supersonic. And just like that, Zubat has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So more, lo more leveling up for our Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's see. we got to get this item right here. This is an escape rope, which will actually help us get out easily and uh, hmm. there's nothing right here nothing except for maybe one more trainer so let's let's see what he has to say after this Pokemon of course we're gonna be battling every Pokemon we see and look at this we are taking on a wild Geodude hey Geodude you don't like me and I don't like you but guess what I am going to defeat you and that's a level 10 Geodude what the heck and that is super effective. Man. <coughs> Hate coughing. And that right there is going to be a sandstorm. <laughs> yeah, not going to happen. You know what? <coughs> We're going to avoid that. And I, again, I'm sorry if I'm coughing, but... Jeebus criminy. 
All right, let's talk to this guy. Fine, alrighty then. Just a quick pet on my break. <laughs> okay, so we're battling Colin, and I'm sorry again because I had a cough. Again. This cough is never going to leave me. Yes, I know. I'm okay, guys. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Yes. Power up punch. Powers up our Pokemon. And, well, here comes a tackle attack. And that right there is going to hurt it just a little bit. So here we go. Another again. Power up punch for the win. And that is how you do it. Say goodbye to good old Geodude. And just a little bit more of a power uh, power power up for our Monfernomon. And, well... Look at this, our Pokemon are growing back to their original levels. Starblade grows to level 9, gets wing attack, and, uh... Yeah, we're not gonna switch out our Pokemon right now, because... This guy requires another power of punch. So, here we go. Power of punch. There we go, and that nearly makes this Pokemon faint right here. And, well, here comes a Rock Throw. That is super effective. So, if we can beat this guy one last time... That would actually help our Pokemon grow levels, probably. And there you go. Onyx has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. And look at this. Three Pokemon grow to level nine. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. And let's see. Ah, well. Yeah, sure. Getting text messages like nobody's crazy. And Worker Colin has been defeated. Yeah, buddy thrown out nothing okay so what i'm gonna do guys is i'm gonna go with the escape rope get to the pokemon center and i'll be right back with you guys okay guys so we're back and uh the final place we have to take a look at is right here in route 207 now it's not a lot of importance you're gonna be finding a well a slippery slope right here you can hear it holy crap you can hear it yeah, you won't be able to cross that until this guy right here is saying, telling you you need a bike to get up there. And unfortunately, we can't do anything about it. Turner City is the next place where you can actually find a bike, but you will be finding some items right here. And uh, yeah, we were told that you can actually find a uh, Machop around here too. Not going to battle, or yeah, you know what? I should battle this guy because we are very, very close to something very, very, very important. And there you go. Geodude has been. Well, it's getting his butt kicked right now. And, well, let's see. Here, rock rock polish is always nice, right? Yeah, it's, 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 it's always a nice move to just, you know, polish up your rocks and then, you know, get faster. Giggity. And, well, there you go. Defeated. Okay. And Hydra grows to level 10, finally. It's, it, it's, it's, it's a minute right here. Okay, so let's go right here, grab this little item, and we found ourselves a Pokeball, which, well, I mean, we have plenty of those, thanks to May or Don. And, yes, we're gonna get attacked again by another Pokemon. And it's another Geodude, which, uh... Yeah, I think this is gonna be the one that's gonna help us reach our goal right here. So here we go. Power Up Punch. Nearly for the win. And, well, let's see, our attack has risen. Here comes a sandstorm. You gotta love the sandstorms, guys. It, it never gets old. And, well, let's go right ahead and yeah, give it another power punch. Man, I really, really do hate this cough. It's just, it, it, you could feel it coming every single time. And, well, there we go. Monfernomon grows a little 14. And because of that, Digivolution time. Okay, so after one full episode plus this, our good old buddy Monfernomon is finally evolving to the next stage. And it gains a very, very, very good typing. Look at this guy. That's right. He's, look like, he's looking like he's ready to kick some ass, take some names. Look at that. Monfernomon evolves into Monferno. And it's gone to our Pokedex. As you guys can see here, it is the playful Pokemon. Both fire and fighting type. 2 feet, 11 inches, 
148 pounds of pure fury. To intimidate attackers, it expands the fire on its tail to make itself appear bigger. That's a very good tactic, and it wants to learn Mog Punch. This is a... Well, this is an even better move than Power Up Punch, I think. Nah, not really. In fact, we're just gonna go with a... We're gonna take away Taunt for right now. And hope to God that it actually works out for our Pokemon right here. Okay! Alrighty. I think we're ready to go to the gym. After getting attacked by a few Pokemon here and there. Especially this guy, Geodude. Guy that won't leave us alone. Great. Fantastic. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use that Mog Punch. Hopefully it works. And, oh wow. Yeah, it works. And, well, it went to sturdy, so, okay. And it's going to polish itself. Why are you polishing yourself? I don't know. So here we go, another Mock Punch for the win, and that is how you do it, guys. Mm-hmm. And, well, we got two more Pokemon growing to level 10. Ultra Psycho is going to be needed at some point. I don't know, probably where. Okay, so <clears throat> it is time for us to go to the gym. I think we should heal up our Pokemon, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so we're back, and, uh, well, it is time for us to go straight to the Pokemon Gym. As you guys can see, Barry is no longer in front of this gym. Thank you, Arceus. And, of course, the gym leader, his name is Rourke. Call me Rourke, the Rock. What a good metaphor. Too bad I'm gonna have to beat them down. Okay. It is time to go to the gym. And look at this. You can avoid both trainers if you wanted to. But we're not. We're not going to avoid the trainers. Now, the only man that's ever believed in this is going to be right here. And he's like, howdy, how's it going, champ to be? That's what I said to be a, or to be, wait, wait, wait. That's what I said to a really impatient boy earlier, too. The gym leader is a user of rock-type Pokemon. Well, listen, rock-type Pokemon really hate water, all right? They're also weak to grass-type moves. Gee, they sure have weaknesses. Yeah, they do. But you don't think, uh, but don't think that it, it'll be easy. You don't get to be the gym leader without covering your weaknesses. Going after a rock type with a fire type Pokemon won't be easy either. That's all the advice I can give. Thanks for listening. Okay, so we are really at a well, we're, we're at a big disadvantage right here, guys, because none of our Pokemon, including Ultra Psycho or Hydra, can do anything about what's about to happen right here. So we can only just yeah. We can only just hope and dream that, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't faint. And, well, since we got an evolved Pokemon, let's go straight for a Mach Punch right here. Oh, yes. That one was super effective. And here comes a Tackle Attack. Yes. We are gonna, we are gonna survive this. Okay. So, there we go. Geodude has been defeated. I'm feeling great about that one right there. And because of it... We get more level 10s. Serpentera, you're slagging. Come on, man. And, yes, this guy, he's like, <laughs> he's not happy about this. Alrighty. Okay, so let's go to the next guy right here. Again, we can avoid both these trainers if we wanted to. The thing is that we're not because, well, this game right here in general is just, it's annoying. It's annoying when it comes to leveling up. That's why I have to make some trades and whatnot. So, here we go. Geodude again. Alright, Darius. Time to make you faint, time to make you feel bad right now. So he's got two Pokemon. So it will work perfectly for my power up punch right here. Bam! Okay, never mind. I wasn't expecting that, I swear to God, guys. And, well, he's gonna be coming out with an Onyx. So the next move is definitely gonna work right here. So let's go right ahead and use a Lemak Punch. The mock punch nearly does it good gravy and here comes a bind attack so this one right here is going to kind of mess with us just a tad bit and well we're getting squeezed Ooh. yeah we don't want that okay so let's go straight for the mock punch and just like that onyx has been defeated yes and well two more pokemon grow levels yet again I guess we're going back to, like, the same levels that we, we kind of dropped these Pokemon off. And, well, he's like, this is humiliating. It is. For you, but not for me. Okay, so let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. 
It's the Monferno Mon show, featuring Monferno Mon and its Fist of Fury. And uh, before you do anything, let's go right ahead and save this game because if I screw up, I'm going to blame this on you guys. Okay, what's up, Rourke? Welcome, this is the Orberg City Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm the one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock type Pokemon. As a train or as a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a poke oh, or as a trainer. As a gym leader, yeah. I, I can't read guys. I yeah, having the issues with it right here. And I'll need to see your the toughness of the Pokemon that, that battle with you. Okay! Alrighty, so here it is, guys, our very first gym battle. Against Rourke himself. And well, this guy. Has got himself three Pokemon. And they're gonna be tough. So here he comes out with a Geodude. And well, Monfernomon is the first one to go. Let's go straight for a power-up punch. And that right there will take a little bit of Geodude's uh, power. And what is going to happen right here is Stealth Rock. Now, Stealth Rock, if you guys don't know, if you switch up your Pokemon, this is going to. Yeah, this is gonna hurt them on the next turn. So the good thing is that we're not we're not gonna switch off Pokemon at all. We're just gonna power up the power up punch. And I think with two, that's actually gonna help us right here. So there's one. More levels for our Pokemon right here. And Ultra Psycho, you you are you're getting there. Alright. Onyx, we're gonna keep the same lineup. We're gonna beat you. What if we go with three? I wanna see what three mock punch or three power up punches go. Go for it, and bam. That nearly defeats this guy, and we are powered up, okay? This guy is gonna throw a rock at us. Okay, so let's go straight for a mock punch for the win. Bam! Yeah, that's right. That is right. That is how you do it, and bam! More Pokemon are growing levels yet again. I am raising these Pokemon uh, nicely, right? And, well, Rourke is about to come out with a Cranny Dose. This Pokemon right here is, yeah. Yeah, this guy is going to be a tough one to actually battle against. But here it is, Cranny Dose. And it does have the Mold Breaker. I'm going to go straight for the jugular. Let's go with the Mach Punch. Here we go. Mach Punch. For the win. Throwing out that peace sign right here. Yeah, that's right. Right here. <sighs> See, that's what happens. And more Pokemon are growing levels like crazy. Yeah, buddy. Okay, Electrostar wants to learn Bite. So, we're we're doing well. So we're going to take away the Tackle Attack and bam. Yes, our team is becoming, you know, the team. I don't know. I, I can't come up with anything. And, well, Serpentera grows to level 11. And, yes, Rourke has been defeated. He's like, that can't be my buffed up Pokemon. They're not really buffed up. They're just... Yeah, they're just Pokemon. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. But that's the story. You were strong, and I was weak. That, that, is, that is all there to it. And according to the Pokemon League rules, I have to give you the gym badge since you beat me, the gym leader. Here's your official Pokemon Cold Badge. Yes! Look at this. Bam! That's right, guys. We got the Cold Badge. This is the start of a beautiful story. And, well, having the cold badge means that you can use the hidden move Rock Smash from your Pokétech. You can also take these two, and we get ourselves some TM76s. Again, Pokémon, why did you take away the unlimited TMs? I hate you guys. So, we get ourselves Stealth Rock. It's a move that inflicts damage on opponents that switch into battle. And these are the stickers, too, that I use. And, yeah, we're always going to get stickers. We're always going to get, you know, TMs and whatnot. whatnot. And, uh, well, but a TM will break if you use it. Yeah, I know. Okay, so what else do you have to say? What other words of wisdom you have to say here? In this region, the Sinnoh region, there are seven other gym leaders. I, s I should warn you, they're a lot tougher than I am. You want to bet? Okay, so I'm feeling pretty, uh, feeling like pretty heavy in the chest right here because, yes, we got ourselves another badge. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest badge. Let's go to the trainer card. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Second, the sexiness right here. And uh, the view of the badge is press the Y button. And look at this. We got ourselves another badge. And I think 
you have to polish these. I think the polish things is still there. I don't know, guys. Anywho, <clears throat> yes, the cough is almost done. This has been another fun-filled episode. Um, and next week, we will be doing a little bit more. We're going to be getting a lot more uh, interesting Pokemon on our team and all that stuff. Other than that, thank you guys again for being supportive, positive, and all that stuff. I'll see you guys in the next episode as we go straight to, I think, Florama Town or something like that and take on Team Galactic. Yeah, those guys. I'll see you guys.